Hello, boys and girls. I am here to follow up on my continuing thoughts about uh, our mental health and healing and uh, what that means in regards to the past couple of years. I think we can stop and acknowledge very specific kinds of loss. For example, a lot of us have lost loved ones physically due to the pandemic. We've lost jobs, relationships. On a personal level, I've lost all three. <laughs> I've been really enjoying this book called How to Survive the Loss of Love, which is very easy reading. It's mostly just a, a selection of thoughts and some little poems. One thing that really struck me very early on is acknowledging the obvious losses, which I think we're, we're all aware of. The death of a loved one, the breakup of an affair, a separation, divorce, loss of job, money, robbery, rape, things like that that are very obvious losses. But the not so obvious ones, moving, which I'm in the process of doing right now, illness, loss of health, changing teachers or psychologists, success, the loss of striving, the loss of a cherished ideal or long-term goal. And then when I look at that, I'm like, man, that is a lot of loss that I've, um, I'm just processing how much of it's happened, you know, over the past year. Then there's other losses like related to age, childhood dreams, the loss of youth, of beauty. Limbo losses, is it on, is it off? Everything being up in the air, which is still kind of continual. We've all been suffering withdrawals from our addiction to the illusion of certainty. It's really healthy to acknowledge that loss and to realize that's going to come in waves, grieving that, whether it's the loss of a dream or a romantic relationship. And so you wanna be patient with yourself and, and don't be surprised if it comes up in unexpected ways. My worry is after this pandemic and this huge period of change and loss for so many people that we're gonna to try to jump right back in as if it's business as usual. And I don't think that that's healthy and I think that might set us up for more problems down the line if we don't take a moment to just sit with it as uncomfortable as it is and, and acknowledge, wow, I, I've lost so much. And be proud of yourself that you're holding it together, you know? It's not been easy for any of us. There's a lot of uh, solidarity if we can be vulnerable right now. And that's what um, I really got out of the pandemic and want to do is give myself permission to feel deeply and encouraging others to do the same. If you're feeling sad and you don't know why, you might have a lot more legitimate reasons than you thought, and it's a great time to be gentle with yourself. So that's my meditation for the day. Lots of love, guys.